Hello everyone and welcome back to Ladesia. We are at Jessica Sango's house again and there have been quite a few updates other than the weeds. Ignore the weeds. She's not much of a housekeeper I'm finding. She doesn't really mind if you know there's weeds and old newspaper everywhere. Look at all the sunflowers. The yellow flowers. Including on the roof. She needs a lot more <laughs> so she can pass the green roof initiative that Ladesia requires. And having, you know, like a solar panel on the top would probably really help. But we'll get there. And she's got... Hi, Scout. This is Scout, who's a girl, just like Silver Boy, who turns out is also a girl, if you guys will recall, which is why Scout and Sir Silver Boy have not had puppies. We're going to work on that. Here is an adorable little puppy house with the adorable little yellow daffodils and the yellow sunflowers. It's just so cute. This is a much more fitting a start to the empire of adorable corgi puppies that Jessica shall have and raise and sell because she does not make much money as a teacher. She is finally a kindergarten teacher. She has reached the top of that career track. <laughs> It took a little while, but she got there, and the inside of the house has been majorly updated. It no longer looks so pathetic and sad. <laughs> she See, this is a painting she made right here. I doodled something in Photoshop with colors I thought she'd like, and she made it. And it's really cool looking. I like it a lot. And, yeah, there's the bathroom. Walls up. Looking all cute. Love the mirror. Love how everything came together, looking nice. This is probably my favorite part of the house because I have never used these lamps. I've just never felt like they could tie into something. And then BAM! Jessica's love of yellow like totally opened up this area and made it look awesome. And she has a whole bunch of books because she is a bookworm. And I want to respect the fact that Taylor said that she just she adores books. So and a lot of these books are travel books and everything. Jessica's gonna travel all over the place eventually. And then over here, I figured as a kindergarten teacher, she's got a lot of toys and stuff and kids' books at home. And she occasionally babysits for Eric or Evelyn Eureka, because Evelyn's husband's all out of town, and she's embarrassed to, like, ask her family for help, because she wants to be the go-at-your-own-strong sort of person, because her family, I mean, they're the Eurekas, they run the town, her brother and sister are, like, the top scientist and the top businesswoman of the area, so I can see how that would be a little intimidating, and she's, like, a poorly retired celebrity. <laughs> So I could see how she would rather give the kids to someone else than give them to her family. Just so she could have a little time to herself without questions being asked. But yeah, so this is like where Jessica has some of the kids from her classroom uh, come over now and then when she babysits or tutors them privately because the parents like that. So yeah, it's been really updated from the really sad, sad condition it was in when I last left you guys off. And now we are going to follow Jessica to Tyke Tutoring Town today, actually. We're going to go see how she does at work, but first we have a couple surprises. One of which being Kyle, Kyle Golson. In the last episode with him, you guys saw him get engaged and start trying to tidy up his house so that his girlfriend would uh, be quite happy. But we have a bit of an issue. <laughs> yes. And I am not sure how we're going to cope with this issue. Yeah. Welcome to the issue. Kyle really, really <laughs> likes Jessica. And Jessica really, really likes Kyle. What's ACR doing? And they just tell each other dirty jokes, like, left and right. But, not sure what we're going to do about that. Um, in fact, here, I'll show you guys a couple pictures from a, a non-video playthrough I was doing with them. I do, I put the pictures from those kinds of playthroughs up on my Tumblr. And here's a couple of them, just to show you guys... Uh, exactly what went down. He has three bolts, she has three bolts. They're triple bolters with each other. And, well, you know, Kyle's triple bolters with half the population of Ladesia and Oak Grove. He invited her over because he had that two-person flirt with someone want that made me unhappy, but I try to honor how my sims want to go at things for their story, because not every story ends happy or ends the way you think. And so he invited her over and they ended up 
having a really nice date and they just gave each other a peck on the lips uh, and they fell uh, in crush and love with each other like instantaneously on the beach but then he never rolled another want for her which brings us back to here so I'm just gonna see what they get up to and at least she has someone to play catch with and talk to for a minute and talk about hobby arts and crafts oh wait it's really late we probably won't go to type touring town right this moment see everyone heart farts over that boy he's like knitting knitting's awesome I'm glad that they get along so well and then let's have play catch she's like let's throw a baseball to each other hmm and she just has appreciate so they're not rolling like romantic he wants for each other I think that it may have just been like a fling, like he had to get out of his system the idea of falling in love with uh, someone else who's not CO, just so he could be sure that he wants to take CO as his wife. So we'll still have to see if he still wants to marry her, the one's not there anymore. Let's see. <laughs> Chip. Pretty sure, yeah, that's Chip Rye. And that's Isaac, a stray dog. Okay, you guys, that's getting boring. You can stop throwing the ball back and forth. Go appreciate him. They might fall out of love. Maybe he showed up here to tell her about his engagement and come clean about it and be like, well, I really appreciate you as a friend and all. You know, maybe I could make them fall out of love with each other somehow that isn't horrifically damaging. <laughs> that would be useful. Ah! Influence them in the garden? That's awesome. Okay, we're gonna do it. She's like, hey dude, could you, uh, like, take care of my garden for me? It's kind of overgrown and everything. I don't really know what to think about it. Awesome. Alrighty. And he loves gardening, so it's a win-win situation. Hmm, go clean that up. I really wish that the dog pee when they go pee outside didn't end up spawning so many weeds. It's kind of annoying. And that noise is the fact that Kyle is, like, hmm? So happy that he gets to garden. Because he's maxed out on the nature skill. It's a really annoying little noise. That came with free time. And all the hobbies and free time. Have her clean up. See, it looks so much nicer already. I wish she had enough influence left that we could have him cook too, because she hates cooking. And I think that she used up all the food that she had. Uh, which one was that? That was Lena Eureka. She influenced Lena Eureka to do some cleaning for her. Oh, hush, Kyla, with your, like, silliness. Um... Really, she kind of just wants to paint and stuff after this. I guess we'll just say bye to him. We used him for his gardening, and now we're done. <laughs> like, okay, Kyle. It, we're good now. You, you, you can go home and stuff. There we go. Put that inside. Oh my gosh. It has to be fate. I think that rumor got to see you about Kyle about Kyle and Jessica and now <laughs> here's CO herself showing up to see what's going on cuz Kyle went over to Jessica's house no way this is so cool okay we can handle this Kurt nods to each other they were actually friends for a while Will it come up and chit-chatting with one another? Oh man, I don't think Sio's happy. She's yawning and shaking her head. She's like, I'm not in the mood. I'm really worried. Kyle, are you not more concerned about this? Okay, that kind of cracks me up. I mean, you have to admit, <laughs> plugging up those ears. There. <laughs> oh, okay. The girls are not getting along very well. Uh, it's a love triangle. 
It's a love triangle. Isaac, get off the lot. I don't want to have to deal with stray silliness right now. Wait, what was happening? Did she just try to kiss him and he refused? Hang on, I gotta... I have to see what was going on here. She tried to romantically hug him and he refused. Oh my gosh. Not happening. Is he wanting to end the engagement? Because I really thought they got along quite well. <laughs> what was that? What nonsense was that? <gasps> oh my gosh, you're kidding me! I don't know how I feel about this. Now they're heading in, ACR is telling them to head inside. And woohoo, while his fiance is here. I don't think Jessica wants to do that, dude. I really, I'm going to cancel that just once. If it comes back, if it comes back, then we'll deal with things. Dude! This is not going where I thought it would. <laughs> She's like, I'm just going to admire my dandelions. Feeling rather nervous. <gasps> okay. Okay. I'm going to let it go. I'm going to have to let it go. I said I'd only cancel it once. And their timer went off. And CO is here. Reading in the other room, you guys, Jessica, Kyle, you're two of my favorite sims. This isn't happening. Oh my gosh. Mm. Sorry, there's some uh, semi nudity going on over here, so I'll, I'll back up a little bit. I mean, they're just like Barbies, but oh dear. Meanwhile, Sio is just angrily browsing the bookshelf, trying to focus on something else and slamming the book shut. I think that rather than the casual dating relationship these two are in for just a little bit, we're actually... What are you doing now? Oh, now they're making out. And Sio is still just like opening and closing books angrily. Oh, man. Yep, now they're making out. <laughs> I'm sorry, CO. I really like you. This is The Sims doing it, not me. Jessica. I know you like him the most out of everyone you've met, but I thought he was coming to break up with you, not... Oh my gosh. Ah! Thank you, camera, for kind of... <laughs> oh, crap! <laughs> oh, my gosh! See you! Pay attention to that! Oh, sorry, guys! Okay, you guys. Oh, man. I need a picture of this. I I think that Kyle is no longer getting married to CEO. <laughs> the wedding's off. <laughs> oh dear. Sorry, I need pictures. Pixar it didn't happen, even though I have it on video. I don't blame you, CEO. You slap him silly, because that was just... It had to be fate, though. I mean, that she showed up. That he showed up. That ACR, for the first time in Sango's life, <laughs> Jessica's life, decided to trigger. Like that. Don't 
Don't rub salt in the wound, Jessica. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I think I just better I just better have him end this. Dude, seriously. He's like, but I don't want to see either of them die. Dude, you're still screwed. She's so mad at him. She doesn't want anything to do with him. He's mad at her. Still engaged. I mean, look, Jessica is, like, on the second page. It, he has more of a relation, like, a hotness for this Melissa Gathercole. But I actually tried seeing if he wanted to date her, and he wasn't interested. All right. I need to... Oh, there it is. Break up. Let's just get this done here. Right here. Right now, man. Really, she has the right to call it quits. But I don't think that... I don't know if ACR can manage that. And Jessica's just like, just gonna ignore this and look at this painting. <laughs> <gasps> Jessica! Now she's giggling about it. And the rings are gone. You too! This is so cruel! <laughs> oh dear. I think you should say goodbye to everyone now, honey. Actually, why don't you invite him to stay the night? Because he still has a good reputation. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Just stay the night, dude. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry, CEO. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I feel so bad. <laughs> You're just burning with rage. Now's not the time for a dirty joke, Jessica. Seriously. Talk about rubbing salt in the wound. Poor Sio, and she's still attracted to him. Alright, you. I think you need to go serve some dinner. Make some comfort soup, why don't you? You know how to do that, don't you? Ah, so many options. I love all the options. I know I... Ah, there it is. Grandma's comfort soup. I have a feeling that uh, Jessica's version of Grandma's comfort soup just comes out of a can. As she does not prefer to be the cooking type. Chopping her fingers off. Oh yeah, we still have that dirty plate on the floor. Man, that was something. Well, that definitely changed the angle of things I thought were going to happen. Are you taking a bath? Yeah, he's taking a bath. Alright, come on now. There we go. Honey, you can sit at the island and eat, you know. Just stubborn. And the puppies are playing in the bookshelf. That's fine. <laughs> oh, man. Well, that was dramatic. Now everything else feels kind of anticlimactic after that. I really don't know how to, how to keep the excitement going, but I have one idea. All right. Hey, Jessica's got a little bit of money, so I'm going to finally buy her a dishwasher. Yay, dishwasher! Yeah, that's not the idea I had in mind <laughs> to make things exciting, just so you guys know. <laughs> I just noticed that, like, right the second. I was like, oh yeah, why don't I do that? The idea I had in mind to make things exciting. And this is kind of going to be a non storyline thing. I'm gonna just pretend this isn't happening. She got this. 
It's been a very, very, very long time since I've gotten a genie lamp. And so we're just going to pretend it's not a genie lamp. Hmm? You can play with the puppy in a second. And we'll use some wishes! Because it's been a long time since I've done this. You woke the genie up! He's like, voila! Grant you three wishes. Wish for wealth, peace of mind, beauty, long life, the ability to cheat death. What should we wish for? I have a feeling one of her wishes is definitely going to be wealth. Um, because she really is not happy with how poor she is and she wants to travel and everything. Um, I think long life, because she, her, one of her wants is to marry off six kids, so you gotta be around a while for that. And... Hmm. I think peace of mind. Or... I don't know, she's brooding. So I think peace of mind wouldn't come to her very easily. I think just beauty, I guess? Okay. Let's start with wealth. Give me wealth! Come on, Jeannie. She's like, I'm tired of being poor. I'm a teacher. I want some monies. Boink! So cool. Get the money! Smackaroo! 10,000 Simalonians. I like it. Wish for... A long life. I don't know what that does. <laughs> it didn't really drop her down that many days, considering how long I play my Sims for. <laughs> and let's go with beauty. We could wish for wealth again, but that'd be boring. Well, I mean, there's not much boring about a giant sack of money falling from the sky. According to Genie Law, I must now leave. That's fine, dude. Thank you for your time. You can go now. Bye-bye. Okay, there we go. And it's gonna go poof. Poof! And away goes the genie lamp. Well, it's been a rather exciting day here. I I actually have lost track for how long we've been recording. <laughs> oh, another sack of money is about to fall from the sky. Come on, get out of the bathtub. Who's that? Bredith? Bredith, what are you doing here at midnight? Maybe he wants to talk about the drama that she brought to the town? I don't know. He needs to go away. What are you doing? Really? Well, she's bathing. I think he likes her quite a lot. Even though he likes Valerie the most. Everyone likes Valerie the most. But Valerie Eureka is happily married. Yet everyone in this darn town has three bolts with her. What do you want, Bredith? Why are you here at one in the morning? I don't understand. There's another sack of money! How much money this time? Sweet! 7,000. She's gonna be rich now. Fine. Bredith, what do you want? Does this mean that... Uh-huh. What? You came over here to admire her? <gasps> that was not the beauty wish, was it? Because Bredith's a three-bolter with her, too. And now, now she's being caressed. <laughs> I'm going to have to put some lights down so you guys can see. The beauty wish suddenly has some three-bolt sims, like, running all over her. Oh dear, oh dear. I didn't think that one through, I think. Well, Jessica, your life has gotten a lot more uh, interesting, I suppose, if that's the word. 
Chaotic, perhaps, is a better one. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ah, no, I want to put these down. Ah, wrong one. So, guys, that is Jessica, who is the uh, kindergarten teacher. Jax. Yeah. I am not sure what I think about her extracurricular activities. What with the affairs and everything and the drama that she has brought and wrought upon Lodessia. And the fact that now she's got like money falling from the sky is so awesome. Don't get smushed, okay? She's like, geez, that one was a little close. Get the money, get the money. Man, I where are her bolts with Kyle? Why is Kyle way down here all of a sudden? So she got that beauty wish and and now like everyone got rearranged. Maybe she doesn't think Kyle's the the thing anymore. Now she thinks that this guy she met, Dwayne, is the best. But he's kinda a sketchy character. Followed by Romeo? Romeo is in a relationship, dude. Okay, so obviously this teacher has a bit of a majorly, hyperly chaotic uh, life going on. She's got triple bolts with every single guy she knows right now. That beauty wish is dangerous. I think I just made everything with the dramatic of the romancy problems worse. <laughs> Alright, we're going to stop here now that I have kind of, uh, well, now that some interesting storyline crashing things have just happened. So, we will see you guys on the next episode. I will leave you with this cool little sciency fact and a picture of the rocking horse. Actually, we'll follow Jessica, see what they get up to. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, this is a good time to say that, yes, there are some magnanimous species of bird. The albatross, swans, um, some species of duck, to name a few Canadian geese. They, they mate for life, all those species. However, biologi or biologists have tested the DNA of their children and have found that the females will often sneak away to mate with other males so that they can diversify uh, the genetics of their young so they don't stick to being loyal even though they mate for life I, I don't know what that says except that they want the best genetic resources perhaps in this case it's just drama just drama <laughs> all right you guys thank you so much for joining us in Lodessia for this silly episode <laughs> um, and for following us with Sims and Science wrapped up in storytelling. Have a great day, guys!